Hello and welcome back to Curiosity Mine. In this episode of Bush Botany, Warwick Schofield takes us out on the opal fields at Lightning Ridge to have a look at a common but often overlooked local tree, which has some nifty characteristics that you may never have noticed before. But you will now. You know, eucalypts have long pointy leaves, and for some reason, those leaves are round, look at that. And they're modified not to have their breathing cells on the top surface, but just on the underside. Right. It's a modification to not lose any more moisture than they have to. But the bimble box is very easily recognised by its round, shiny leaves. And in the moonlight they glisten in your car headlights. Very shiny, very round. So I went out after dark to grab some footage of bimble box leaves in the moonlight. It just so happened to be a full moon, so the timing was quite perfect. It really is quite remarkable how bright and reflective the bimble box leaves are, and how obvious they are at night. There are really no other trees that glisten like the bimble box. The main tree is this thing here, look at the size of it. It's a box tree with serious box trunk, quite barky, a bit smoother the bark up near the top. Yes, that classic box tree bark and then when you get right up near the top it's shiny. That suits the koalas, they don't like it too dry and scruffy. Popular for the koalas and around the opal mines we'll often see, used to, before the dry spell, koalas in the bimble box trees. One of them found his way into town and guess what he was named? Bimble. And he lived in people's backyards, we had them in office space. Uh, there was a koala climbed up the, the front post on a neighbour's veranda. The dog had it bailed up there. So koalas were quite common and Bimble was one of them. Bimble the koala's story unfortunately doesn't have a very happy ending as Bimble lost his life when he was entangled in the horrible Hudson Pear cactus. If you check out this video you'll find a lot more information on Hudson Pear and the fate of poor Bimble. Bimble box trees are very common around Lightning Ridge. You can see them everywhere with their bright green shiny round leaves. They generally thrive higher up on the ridges in drier sandier soil and in the transition between the ridges and the plains. Eucalypts like the Bimble box have evolved some interesting survival mechanisms including adaptations to the way their flowers was form. And there's the buds. Only a small eucalypt flower will come from that, but little bunches, the inflorescence. We might find some bigger ones, but uh, the word eucalyptus comes from the fact that it doesn't have petals. The petals all join together on the top of the flower and fall off like a little cap. And there it is with all its stamens exposed and no petals. So they're the buds on the silver and the round bimble box tree. Eucalyptus populneum. So that's the bimble box, a ubiquitous eucalyptus that glistens in the moonlight. Stay tuned for more bush botany videos with Warwick. We've got plenty more interesting stories to come. This video was made with the help of Warwick Schofield with support from Margaret Schofield and Kay Wotherspoon. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to Curiosity Mine on YouTube and following along on all of the usual social media channels. The links are all in the description. And thank you for watching.